TV here. And it was not windy at home, but getting out on the bike, the Honda Fury that is, it feels a little bit breezy out here. Today is a good day, because any day on the bike is a good day. It is beautiful out. It's about like 52 degrees in Nebraska. And it's like a warm 52 degrees, if you know what I'm talking about. I am so happy to be out on the ferry today. I did wear my, my heated liner, but it is not plugged in at all. I don't know if I really needed it, but I was just excited to get out on the bike and ride. I don't know about you, but when I'm feeling down and in the dumps, not that I was, because I have an amazing job, but if you're like off, and I know I'm not the only one when I say that, but you're just off. You know, nothing's wrong with your life. You're just off, you're in a funk. Every single time I get out on the bike, it changes my mood, it changes my attitude. It makes me happy. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the wind therapy that we always tell everybody, but it's so freeing and uplifting, especially when that sun is out. I mean, I will say that. That makes me super happy. My question for you this week is gonna be a little different. How old were you when you got interested in motorcycles? Now that could be like when you were little and you rode a motorcycle, say with your uncle or your dad or a friend, and you just really liked it, and you just loved the thrill of it. But how old were you when you knew that you loved motorcycles? Comment below because I would like to know. My story is, I do remember just a little bit back when I lived in Columbus, Nebraska, that was where I was born and raised. Um, I remember one of my dad's friends having a motorcycle and every summer we went out to Lake North, which is north, north of Columbus a little bit, but we always camped out with my grandparents. And speaking of my grandparents, my grandpa is 92 today. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I hope that you had a wonderful day today. 92, wow. So back when I was little, my grandparents always had their motorhome out at Lake North. And we'd always go out there and go water skiing, camping, and this is tent camping, but we also, us cousins also, um, did get to take turns and sleep in their motorhome with them. And it was always a special time and it's a great memory that I have of being and spending time with my grandparents. They were amazing and I learned a lot from them. But I remember this one time where one of my dad's friends had his motorcycle at our house and my dad took me out to Lake North on the back of the motorcycle. And I just, I just vaguely remember that, but I remember it was a lot of fun. Although I was a little scared because I had never been on anything like that before. But I, I think I probably had to have been, gosh, I don't know, maybe six, seven years old. Now fast forward until, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, maybe. I was married to Stevie. And I remember him coming home from work and saying to me, mind you, I'll just give you a little backstory here. I was about eight months pregnant with our youngest kid. So Kale, known as Cabbage to many people, he was just about ready to be born. And Stevie came home from work and said, you know what, I want to get a motorcycle. And I know he had had some in the past, but I was never really around them, maybe a couple of times growing up, right? I said, okay, well, honey, what are you thinking about? And I sa he said, well, probably be between a crotch 
track it in a Harley. I know I am not, a, you know, a long time or many years writer, but, or any at that time, but I do know that there is a big difference between a crotch rocket and a Harley. But when I think of a crotch rocket, I think of it as a screw off bike. Although one of these days I will ride a crotch rocket because I want to know what it's like, truly, but I still look at them as screw off bikes. And I have some other choice words for them, but we'll just say they're screw off bikes to me. So when he approached me of that question, I was just like, huh, all right. Let's, uh, let's do this. So I gave in, and so we went to Frontier Harley-Davidson in Lincoln, and that was when it was on 27th and Superior, and some guy comes over to us in bib overalls, and I'm thinking, all right, here we go. Had no idea that that was actually the owner. <laughs> Hi, Dave. We did get one. I remember Stevie coming to me and saying, my parents are gonna watch Kale and Alex and we're going to go on a trip on the bike. And I looked at him and I said, you've got to be kidding me. So guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. That secret is, is I used to, used to be a little bit prissy and had to be all put together in order to do anything. And that meant including writing. But this, this time, this was my first time, so I did not know what I was getting myself into. But Stevie did. But he was so patient with me. So, kids are at the grandparents' house. We are getting ready to leave. And me not knowing anything about this writing, that we're going to be doing, come out of the house with little shoes on. I think I might have had flip-flops on, but that buckled. And capris, and we were leaving towards the evening. So the evening is a lot cooler, right? And this was in, I want to say it was in May or June, but it was still kind of cool outside, especially in the evenings. And again, I knew nothing of that, right? I have never been on the back of a motorcycle since I was a little wee, wee girl. So <laughs> I get on the motorcycle and wow, there's a lot of bikes out today. And we start heading towards St. Joe's, Missouri. And we get about halfway there and my butt, guys, my butt was killing me. It was hurting so bad. But I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, right? And I was so cold. I mean, I was chilly from the moment we left to the moment we got there. I was so thankful to see that hotel when we got there. But the next morning, guys, we woke up, we went to the St. Joe Harley Davidson. I walked in wearing another set of capris that I brought. I walked out of that store with Harley jeans, Harley boots, Harley everything, including a gel seat to go on my seat so it wouldn't hurt so bad. So I walked out decked out in all kinds of warmth and all the correct clothing that you need to wear while you're riding. Buddy, I am turning. You need to slow down. I hate it when people do that. You gotta give us room, guys. We're on motorcycles. So yeah, so that's my story. I walked out of that store, and guys, I never looked back. I wanted to go, go, go. I wanted to ride all the time. It was so fun, so freeing. And I owe it all to Stevie. Because if he wouldn't have forced me on that ride, and you can tell me, hon, that you didn't force me, but you forced me. You just wanted me to try it, and I didn't want to do it. But if he wouldn't have forced me on that bike, all those years,
years ago, I wouldn't be where I was today. So huge kudos to Stevie because <laughs> fast forward all these years, I now ride my own. So guys, again, the question for today is how old were you when you started, really started loving motorcycles? I want to hear from you. I want to know. If you got a little story you want to share, please share it. I love stories. I love to hear how people got interested in motorcycles. I got mo interested in motorcycles first from my dad, but big time from my husband. And I am super thankful for that. And this is thankful month, right? It's a huge month to actually think about what you're thankful for. And that, guys, is something I'm really thankful for. I am thankful for learning how to ride a motorcycle, um, taking the class, knowing that I could do it, and challenging myself, and now riding on my own. That's what it's all about. If you don't try, you'll never know, right? That is huge right there. That's a huge statement. If you don't try, how are you ever gonna know? I never thought that I could ever do this, ever. I thought that is just a guy thing. Mm, it is not just a guy thing. I have met so many writers that even a couple of them came up to me and said, I watched your videos and you're the reason why I challenged myself and I knew I could do it. That about makes me tear up because that's what it's all about. I'm not saying I'm a hero. I'm not saying anything like that. That's just goofy saying. I'm saying if I can do it, any of you guys can do it. Any of you, man or woman. But that is a good feeling hearing from somebody saying that we were the reason why they, they did it. They're the, we're the reasons why for our videos and us putting content out there that they thought that, you know what, we're going to try it too. That is an awesome feeling. So I'm super thankful for that. Look at that sun. It's going to start going down and it's going to get far cold. I think it's supposed to get only down to like in the 40s tonight. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be about 70 degrees. And I know that's how we're Howland's birthday in Iowa. So happy late birthday, Howard. Um, I hope you had a wonderful day. And if you guys want merch, guess what? We have merch and you can get it right here. So guys, if you like this video, please push that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe, but also hit that bell notification so you know when we let up next time. And until next time, Stay cool and we will see you on the road.